What's up guys, welcome to this video. In today's video I want to quickly show you how you can fix the issue in Valorant if you're if you're running into a black screen on startup. Um, that's the topic of today's video, so just stick around if you're interested in that. But before we start right into the topic, I would really like to mention something. You guys would certainly make my day if you could leave a like, comment and subscribe to my small little channel. It would mean a world to me, so thank you very much. But let's start right into the topic, what you need to do in order to fix this issue. First of all, um, I would always suggest you to just uh, try restarting your computer and then launching Valorant as administrator. So just right click on your desktop shortcut or in your Windows search and then click on run as administrator. May sound obvious to you, but I just want to mention that. And then uh, when you tried this and it didn't work, then uh, again, find your Valorant the stop shortcut, right click on it, click on properties. And then first of all, I would just suggest you to try running it in minimized mode. So at running here, change over to minimized from normal window and click on apply. And then when you've uh, done that, change over to the compatibility tab. And here we also have to uh, set a few settings. First of all, I would always suggest you to try running uh, the program in compatibility mode for check the setting here and then Windows 8 is perfectly fine. And also down here in the settings, I would suggest you to uh, disable full screen optimizations and to check uh, run this program as administrator every time you launch it, so you don't have to manually do it. And then just click on apply, and if you're playing Valorant and on two or more users, you can also change the settings for all users at the same time. Then just click on OK. And then the last thing, if this still did not work, um, just open your uh, local disk and your program files. And then, um, that false one, um, your program files. And then just uh, search for a folder that is called Riot Vanguard. Uh, here it is. And then when you find found that, just um, delete it. And then click on continue. Don't worry, it just, um, yeah, in order to do this, you need to close everything that is opened. Um, exit, yes, and then try again. It's still open, then task manager, more details, and then search for, here it is, Vanguard Train notification, anything still open? No, I don't think so, try again. Perfect, now it's working. And then when you launch Valorant again, it just uh, downloads Riot Vanguard again, and the issue should be fixed. That's it, that's how you can fix the issue. Really hope this helped you guys. If you've got any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Then I'll write you back as soon as possible, and we will surely find a solution. But that's it, thanks so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful day. See you in the next